What's up guys? What's up? What's up? What's up? A little Josiah in the background. I don't know if you can hear that. Um, hopefully, I don't usually do it on Tuesday nights, but hopefully we get some participation today. Um, I don't know if we will, but we shall see. So it is a beautiful day. I uh, feel like a bit of a fanboy right now, actually. <laughs> um, make sure you hit that like button as you come in. That way we can get everybody in and they have an opportunity. What's up, G-Rated? Um, so, what's up, TJ? The Feely's Clutch is amazing. I, uh, am very, what's up, International? Very, very excited, very happy. Um, uh, beautiful day, beautiful day. And, uh, so, tonight, th there is a little bit of sad, but, um, we'll get to that soon. Little man running in the background. What's up, dude? I broke it. You broke it? Oh no, it's a broken tripod. Uh, so, we'll get to it. Um, I guess, what do you guys want first? Do you want the sad or the happy or the good, the bad? Yeah. Ready, ready, ready? Here you go. <laughs> so so? Why so so? All right, guys. So I guess I'll yeah, I'm going to I'm going to start off with the sad, the bad, whatever you want to call it first, just to What up, James? Uh get it out of the way because today's a happy day. Make sure you hit the like. Let's bring our friends in here. Let's uh, get things going, guys. Um, so the sad part of today is I'm alone on this stream and it wasn't supposed to just be me on this stream, which kind of sucks. Um, we had planned and uh, coordinated and Josh from Leatherneck had some stuff come up and he's just he's not able to make the stream today which is fine uh obviously I can I can handle the stream by myself it just we had we had a lot of stuff we wanted to throw at you guys but on a good note you guys will still get all of that tomorrow you're just gonna have to go check out his channel tomorrow and tomorrow evening, he'll be doing a live stream. And I will hopefully have a time when he does it so that I can let you guys know. Um, so that's the sad news is I don't get to hang out with Josh tonight like I wanted to. But good news, I get to hang out with him tomorrow. The other good thing is I need to cover my address and their address. I got to Letter, I got a letter. What's up, Hannah? Oh, Hannah, you guys, if you don't know Hannah or her dad or her mom, their snakes make up probably close to a third of my collection. Their company's unbelievable, absolutely amazing, amazing animals. Hollywood manager. Hey, I recognize you. Hmm. I don't know why. Um, but Todd and Jody and Hannah are absolutely beautiful people. Uh, I will continue to work with them my entire life because there's very high quality animals there and they take care of you, you as the customer and all right, too easy. Uh, 
I think you should do your first video on whatever you want to, Lindsay. Uh, getting back though is uh, at Unbelievables. They will they will always be one of the people I look at first. I'm constantly talking to Todd about what he has hatching and what's going on because all of his stuff's quality and he's just someone I trust wholeheartedly. So why is it not doing it? All right, so for what I got in the mail today, let's talk about that, guys. Ba bum, ba bum, ba 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 ba. Obviously, it's backwards. Um, but we got the Genetic Hunters stickers in, so I am gonna reserve one because Ed's like family to me, and this will be going on my incubator. But I have two others, guys. So if you want your TGH sticker, like Lindsay or Calissa, if she's on here, I will be carrying these with me at Arlington. So if you stop by along with my shirts, let me know if you want one of these and I will bring them to Arlington with me. Or if you live in Texas as the Texas uh, TGH president, I will mail it to you and we'll just share our emails and I will get your email, send you an email, get your address and then mail you the sticker. Just let me know if you're interested in them. GTH. All right, TJ, have a great night. Thank you for showing up, man. I also... I will bring a shirt. Um, they're they're $20. If I have to ship them, they're $25 just because of the shop cost of shipping. But I'll make sure and bring a shirt for you, Lindsay. Uh, just let me know what size you need. Uh, G-rated. Those stickers are pretty amazing. I love them. Um, I don't know where you're at. If you're in California, I would get a hold of, I think, Ed himself. Size small or extra. I, I think I have a medium left. I'm putting in another order though. I'll see if I can get a small or extra small by Arlington. If I don't, we'll, we'll talk about it and I'll get one to you. Yeah, so every every TGH president is going to have these stickers. They were sent out. Um, every TGH president will have these stickers. You just have to reach out to one of us. Please leave mama's computer alone, bud. That's a no-no. No-no. No, no. But the other big thing, I didn't... I don't know if I told you guys. I am going to Arlington. I just, I guess I let that cat out of the bag. I was gonna try to surprise you guys. Um, but it's it's important to let you guys know, I think, just so you can prepare if you are trying to meet up. Uh, I know in California, I actually had a lot of people come up and You got told no. Oh, you got told no. You should have listened. You're a messy boy. Messy boy. Aww. All right. Love you. What? You should have listened to mama. All right. So that's the good news, guys. Um, we do have more shirts coming in. After talking to Ray and a couple others, I am. I didn't set it up on this order, but I will be making my shirts in different colors as well so that you do have a little bit of a variety to choose from. And I will be setting up a website. Um, 
I don't know how long it's gonna take me to get this website up, guys, but I'm gonna start setting up a website so that you can purchase shirts directly from the site, or you could just email me if you're interested in one right now at feeliesclutch at gmail.com. And see, it didn't even bother him. He just, he hates being upset. Now that he's in front of a camera, he's gonna be like, mm. you said your youngest is 13 and your oldest is 20. My oldest is turning three next month. And my youngest is still in my wife's belly. <laughs> and our middle child is, what is she, five months now? Five months. And we will have our little trio of feely hooligans. What's up, Tarantula? Uh, it's all good, Jerry. We're just hanging out now. Um, the other big thing was I feel like a fanboy. Uh, say hi to Brittany, Josiah. Say hi to Brittany. <laughs> there you go, Britt. Um, the other big thing is I won the question today on Copeland. She's on the stream right now. Um, I won the stream on Brian. He, he got attacked by the dog, if you guys see that. He pulled the dog's hair and... Uh, not barely, not barely. I As soon as I saw him raise his arm, I knew what was coming. I was like, pre-wrote in, waiting to send. It was just, it was meant to be. I've been looking at this print, this metal print that he put out since he got these prints and started doing these. And every week when he says, okay, which one should we do? I chose that print. And yeah, he's got a chocolate yogurt all over his face, but he's getting ready for his bath, so I give him a bath, put him to bed. <laughs> yeah, I'm always in trouble with the wife. It's all good, though. It happens. Lena May. Yeah, so I'm, I'm super excited about that print that will probably go right above my computer desk with my first invoice from BHB. So uh, definitely, I'm, I'm keeping little mementos from the people in the industry that have inspired me. So that's going to be added to the inspiration wall. Um, this is really... I hope you guys are having a good Tuesday. I know we... Uh... Dude, I, I absolutely love you guys, Hannah. And I, I really can't say it enough. And those cookies are to die for if you guys are ever in California. Go get some of Jody's cookies. They do have habaneros in them. They're a little spicy, but if you could deal with the heat, they are amazing. Uh, we always seem to pick one or two bags up from them. But you guys are like family to me, so I wanna make sure I can help support you any way I can. Go check out Unbelievables, please. They're on, uh, I think Todd's on Instagram as Unbelievables. And then Todd and Jody both have a page on uh, Facebook to check them out. What's up, Platinum? What's up, Ed? I just showed your stickers, man. Let them know how everything works. Facebook and Instagram. I thought so. All right, we'll see you later, G-rated. Ooh, that's a that's a big job. 
Lindsay, but you're you're a very active member in the community. I think I see you all the time. Um. So that was that was pretty much it. Like I I let the happy, I let the sad out. Uh, I did. I didn't build it up. What up, Ed? Uh, I didn't build it up as much as I probably should have, but we do have a challenge going on, guys. So go onto my page, watch the Chubby Bunny Challenge, and make your version. You could be, you could do it like I did where I was sitting. You can just be creative with it. Do it the way you want to do it. This is all to better our community and kind of bring us closer together. So you guys go ahead, make that video, send it in or send the link on mine. That way I can tag it up and we can keep track of everyone that does it. And the more people that do it, the more we spread the word out to everybody, letting them know that, hey, us as a reptile community, we're becoming close knit and we're doing what we have to to build a stronger bond. And that's what it's all about. So go check that out. Uh, I did the makeup that everyone wanted to see for 350. Uh, that'll never happen again, so don't miss your chance on watching it. What should you post on Instagram? Post pics of what you like, videos of what you like. Do, do what makes you happy, Jared. And that, that holds true. Like, if you watch my Instagram, I post, I post my snakes and I post my family. Get out of there. And, uh, pick your nose, pick your nose. <laughs> Stop it. Oh Lord, this boy. <laughs> Go. In fact, while we're doing this, we're live. Hold on, it's gonna be dark for a second. I hope you're not scared of the dark. Oh. Boom. The temperatures, I know you can hear that. That's my thermostats. I gotta readjust them. My temperatures keep getting messed up for some reason. Let's see if you guys can see this. We just started our first rat colony. Uh, I got three females and one male. These are African soft fur rats. And we believe this big girl right here is already possibly pregnant. So that would be huge. That would be amazing. Uh, I will eventually get a rack built, but I figured while the colony's small, it'll be okay. So the official christening because I haven't seen anyone else do it yet I don't know maybe granddaddy herps did I don't think I saw it though I hope you're watching Ed I hope you are watching and it like I said it is a little bit hotter here so I have a fan on them at all times and I have two things of water with them so that there's no issue. Ooh, you guys see that? On the incubator, the genetic hunters, right next to Mike McGrath. Oh, did I lose someone? All right, guys. And like I said, I have two more stickers. So if you want them, hit me up. I will bring them to Arlington if you're coming to Arlington in Texas. And if you are coming to Arlington, let me know because uh, I might have a major surprise for you guys. But that's something you're going to have to hang around and see. Your ASF first... Two litters didn't make it, but now I'm getting two litters. That's freaking awesome. Oh, yeah, hopefully. So this is my very first colony. I never, yeah, I'm going to the Arlington Reptile Show in September. Um, 
and I'm going to visit the Arlington Cemetery and <laughs> yep gotta support gotta support I am slowly but surely making this home All my motorcycle stuff. Uh, it's September 22nd and 23rd, so Josiah's birthday on the, but we're gonna be leaving up there t um, probably the 20th or 21st. Nice. Yeah, I need to go get that toolbox. Uh, Right now I have TGR racks. I'm saving up to get a Freedom Breeder for all my adults. And then I'm gonna use the TGR racks for my hatchlings and my juveniles until they get sold. Because my Freedom Breeder is only going to be for my breeder snakes. I do, I do like all TGR's racks. Um, don't get me wrong. I love their racks. They're actually going to be at Arlington too. So that's pretty cool. Or I think it's pretty cool. I finally get to meet Eric because we've been talking a lot. So I think it'd be pretty cool. Yeah, I, I love the 1040s. Like there's just, there's something very clean about them. I love how you're able to disassemble them all the way to clean them up. It's just, I think it's a, it's an unparalleled rack in my opinion. A lot of people can do a lot of things, but it's just not a freedom breeder. And obviously you do what you can afford, but I'm here for the long haul. So I figured I might as well invest the money into it. And if you really look at it, a lot of racks to get the same amount of space is cheaper to just go with a Freedom Breeder than to buy the same amount of tub space. All right, Britt, love you too. We'll give the kids kisses and we need to hang out. Um, probably Sunday. We'll come by Sunday so I can get that toolbox and so you can spend some time with the kids. What's up, Gay? Hope you're having a great afternoon over there across the pond. Glad you could join us. Um, I don't, you always come in at the end, I'm sorry. <laughs> What's up, Serge? Uh, I'm down with hanging out though, guys. We, you see this giant mess I got going on. Uh, we keep saying we're gonna have a garage sale, we're gonna have a garage sale, we're gonna have a garage sale, and we never do it. <laughs> so eventually we'll have our garage sale, all this room will be cleaned up. Um, I do have a couple of really, uh, our reptile basic racks good because they have, that's the rack my friend gave me. I don't know much about reptile basics. I would have to look into them, but every rack works. You just gotta, you gotta make sure the tubs and everything fit properly and you have ventilation and all that good stuff, Jared. And like I said, whatever questions you have, I have no issue, throw them at me. But I've never worked with those racks, so I can't really tell you. So we've been trying to get, uh, oh, Sundays, Sunday, 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 Sundays, we are doing lives within the reptile community. So if that's something you're interested in, uh, reach out to me as well at Feely's clutch at gmail.com so that I can get your email address for your Gmail and we can link you in for my Sunday live sessions. I haven't decided a time yet, but if you're interested in it and you wanna be a part of it, I know, Gay, I'd really love to have you a part of it, so it's gonna, we're gonna have to figure out a time so that you can be a part of it. 
Um, in a couple of weeks, though, I will be officially retired from the military, so I can stay up on Sunday nights a little bit longer if we need to for you, and we'll live stream it, but we'll figure it out. I definitely want to have you on there, though. You have, you have such a vast knowledge of this industry and this hobby, especially for carpet pythons. And if you guys don't know, I love big snakes. Uh, I, I love a lot of little snakes too. I am absolutely petrified of carpet pythons. That's the one snake that scares me. Like, I'm not scared of rattlesnakes. I'm not scared of vipers. I'm not scared of, well, I've never been around like a black mamba or anything like that, but, or like a taipan. But as far as constrictors, I am petrified of carpet pythons because of their bite and their aggr aggression. I got an Amazon tree boa because I wanted to get over it. And I was like, well, they're a little bit smaller and they have the same mentality, but, and I have no issue with my Amazon tree boa. I think, I think it's just a mental thing for me. So I really, I really want to learn more about them. Obviously fears derived from not knowing about something. Uh, you don't, or from bad circumstances with something. Um, <laughs> thanks, Jared. Uh, but fear is derived from that. And one of the other things I want to do is extinguish fear. There's no reason to have fear of any of these animals. Do you need to have respect for these anim uh, animals? Animals. Yes, absolutely, but there's no need for fear. Um, I, I would love to do that. I'm also, I'm also going to be working with Riley's Reptiles, if you guys have never checked him out. I'm going to get some hands-on in January, at the Pomona show in January, with him and some of his carpet pythons, because I think it's silly to be scared of a snake, but I'm willing to have a snake that grows, well multiple snakes that grow 20 plus feet. You know what I mean? So there, there's no reason I should be scared of carpet pythons. All right, let's shoot. You guys send your questions. I'm down with a QA. and a Yeah, I love Riley. He's such a good dude. What is your favorite food? My favorite food. You want a generic answer or you want like a very specific answer? My favorite food is Chinese food, I guess, is my generic answer. Uh, anything Szechuan or things like that. Um, anything with some heat to it, I'll eat. I really enjoy. I love heat. Um, Nice, Jeremy. That's freaking awesome, brother. How many snakes do you plan on having on your collection? So my breeder collection is going to be at 30 because the breeding aspect I do all by myself. And it's just, it's, I don't want it to become overwhelming and feel like work and get to the point where I don't enjoy it. So I'm going to stay at 30 for my breeding collection. Now realize I said breeding collection. Um, Right now I have five snakes that aren't in my breeding collection because they're part of my education program. I also have a bearded dragon and a sulcata tortoise for um, my education program. But once, once my wife is willing to help with the breeding aspect of it, I want to look at probably around 80 to 90 in my breeding program. I did basic training in Fort Sill, Oklahoma. Nice. You would love to breed. What is the main thing you would love? So I have a lot of things that I love, but I, I am obsessed with the dream sickles and I have all parts needed to create my own dream sickles in the future but I have a couple of other genes I want to add to it to see if it does anything. Uh, I'm really hoping that it does. 
and I'm hoping that other people don't get to it before me because I'm really late into the game for that. Um, my limit is 20. See, 20, 30 snakes, it's, it's easy to maintain. Uh, it's easier to handle. Breeding snakes is a little bit messy, guys, if you don't breed. And so it seems like you're constantly cleaning the breeders' cages a lot more or their tubs. What's the most underrated morph in your opinion? The most underrated morph is my favorite morph, and that is the GHI. I think people fell in love with it, and then they stepped away from it. Um, and they're just, they're not into it as heavy as they used to be. That's where my focus is, is actually on integrating other genes with GHI. Well, I'm at, but I don't have. Yeah, we've talked about that, Jeremy, but we don't need to. Are you going to create like a website to sell the snakes? Yes, I am currently uh, figuring out how I want to set up a website. I know a lot of people do it off Facebook because it's, excuse me, it's free and things like that, but. I just feel like having a website is more organized. It makes it more official for you guys. So it's, it's more comfortable. <laughs> I like that gay. All right. All right. So I have, I currently have three GHIs in my collection and there is more market. Yes. Um, Yeah, I was there when you uh, you guys got that. That was freaking awesome. Um, so I have a pastel lesser GHI, and I have two pastel GHI females, and one of the GHI or pastel GHI females is het for albino. So I'm hopefully gonna have an albino GHI line and a regular GHI line that go side by side and then we'll be playing with recessives and codoms and like highlighting genes to see what happens with it. <laughs> what up DJ Skull? Thanks for joining. Yeah, she was, she was beautiful. You guys did really good. I was going for it and then I just, right now is a hard time. Uh, I'm a little low on money from all my trips out to California right now, so I gotta be careful and be smart about what I'm uh, picking up and what I'm not picking up anymore. So, plus I'm almost out of space in my racks. Like, I don't wanna start selling them yet. I need, I need some of these babies to get up to size so I can start doing more and breeding more. I will have one pairing though. Um, I'm not gonna, show you the mail yet because I'm honestly still still up in the air whether I want to go the recessive route with her or if I want to go with a co-dominant route and see what happens. I have two breeder size male clowns right now. They're going to be a big part of my projects but within the next probably two to three years, I will be looking at letting one of them go. So if you guys have watched any of my lives since uh, the San Diego Super Show, you know this is Eagle. She is my Super Lemon Blast or Killer Lemon Blast or Killer Blast. There's lots of different names for them. Uh, she's a super pastel pinstripe. So, she's gonna be my only girl paired this year just because she's the only one near size. I have a bunch of yearlings, well, they're a little over a year now, that are like 600, 700 grams, but they're just not gonna make size and they're not uh, old enough to start throwing males at them, but she's already a proven breeder. 
she's been through. She's one of the ones I picked up from Miss Hannah and Todd and Jody over at Unbelievable Balls. Like I said, guys, a lot of great, great, great quality animals over there. And she is, I hope I don't smell like rats because she's giving me an eye right now. You got a lot of clown stuff, Sergio. I didn't know you were that deep into the project. What's up, Aylin? If you uh, don't follow her, go follow her. She's a sweetheart. She's a very supportive person. Uh, she does a lot of makeup stuff. She loves all my makeup challenges. She's probably going to hate me when I say I'm never doing makeup again. Well, I might sneak my wife into it, but me, myself, I'm never doing makeup again. Um, but I'll be pairing this beautiful girl up to either one of my clown males or a surprise. And it's, I have a male that's throwing sperm plugs, but I don't know if I'm quite ready for him to go after a female. I just feel like he's a little bit small and the sperm may not be uh, that viable and may not produce. So I don't want to, I don't want to risk it. Um, I also have an orange dream that's like dying to get a hold of a female, but I'm not ready for that either. Yeah, so like I said, I have two. Yeah, she's, she's freaking amazing, right? Freaking amazing when it comes to this. I have two males, and they're both breeding size. This little dude is Jester. He's at 800 grams. Even though he might not look like it, he's a little skinny on camera. But I love his head stamp. This is another one from Unbelievables. I love his head stamp because it's just a circle. It's a lot different than most. Wow. It's freaking awesome. And then my other one, he has a very, uh... ooh, you shed, thank God. And he pooped the trifecta. So it looks like I'm cleaning tonight. My other one, you pooped too, awesome. It's freaking massive. So when he, uh, he was first born and went to his first owner, the person that gave him to the first owner freaking thought he was a female and sold him as a female. So he got power fed and then they saw hemipenes pop and, uh, nice. That's freaking awesome. Uh, so they power fed him like he was a female to get him up to size and he's sitting, I think the last time I weighed him, he was sitting at about 1600 grams. So he's big enough for a female to breed. And I kind of like his head stamp too, but kids don't get it the wrong or take it the wrong way. Um, let's see if I can. Oh, uh, Lord. Can you see it? What do you guys see? I don't know if you saw it, but if you saw it... He has a leaf as his uh, head stamp. And I think it's the coolest thing in the world. I want to see if those head stamps pass down. Like not only are they clowns, but they have really unique head stamps. So I'd like to see if those pass down to their offspring. All right, guys, do you have any other questions you'd like to ask before I jump off of here? I know it's, uh, it's getting a little late for everybody and I gotta get the kids in the 
bathtub and ready for bed soon. So that rack is nice. Not as nice as the ones, one I'm gonna have one day, but it is nice. I have not started my incubator, so I bought the heat tape and uh, I'm still waiting on the thermostat, but I figured since I'm just pairing one this year that I'm going to just try for a maternal incubation and then I'll have my incubator ready in case something happens but I'm gonna to try to do a maternal incubation on my first clutch. Have a great night, DJ Skull. Appreciate the love, man. But I figure, what's the harm in it? I mean, like, I might as well see both sides find the good and the bad because one, one of the big people I watch or one of the people I like so really watch is uh, Gavin from Balls to You. And he, I was watching his breeding series, which I'm, I'm about to make a breeding series myself, guys. So, um, but his, in his breeding series, he brought up the fact that there's no such thing as slugs in the wild. Like the only reason you should have a slug is because you're not keeping it clean enough or you're not keeping temperatures right or something along that effect something is wrong with your husbandry if you're getting slugs which I mean let's face it as when you get like when you have a small collection it's really easy to maintain but once you once you become a big name and you have a bunch of snakes it's a little bit harder to maintain perfect husbandry all the time but hey Um, exactly. And the mom will take care of it. Okay. Hey guys, sorry about that. Um, hopefully my phone got too hot. It doesn't appreciate being right on top of the incubator. So no, sir. Get your turtle. Get your turtle. Um, Hopefully we got the trolls that popped up right at the end. What up, Chuck? Um, I know we had a couple pop in right at the end, uh, but it's all good. Uh, Mad Bio, I'm gonna make you an admin as well, or a mod. That way, if anything else does pop up tonight, you can keep an eye on it. I know you're watching pretty well. Um, like that. I bet. Thanks, brother. And Nerf Flow, whoever it is, it's all good. You guys control all you want. It's not going to matter. <laughs> but... What else do you guys, what else do you guys want to ask about? All right, guys. I haven't listened to Sean Bradley yet. I need to check him out. Uh, I know mine stopped once. It might be the connection though. I am. I do not have any alligators. It is illegal to keep alligators as pets, so. 
Serge, I'm going to make you a moderator as well, brother. Oh, Lord. So, I have a guaranteed stream every Sunday. But depending on what's going on, other than that, I don't really have a set stream. Um, every Sunday I do a live stream. Monday I put out a video and then I'm trying to put out a video daily throughout the week. So Monday through Friday, I'm trying to do a video, have Saturday to spend time with family, uh, edit and do what I need to do. Thank you. I like the furnishings in my house too. That's why I chose them. <laughs> but. All right, it looks like we got pretty much all of the trolls out. That was crazy. I've never, I've never got hit like that. I've had like one that maybe Maybe. It was a troll raid. Are you saying the last Oreo is one too? That is, uh, it was weird, but Hey, I don't know. I don't know if that means I'm being noticed or what, but it worked. So if you guys don't have any other questions, I'll, uh, I guess I'll, yeah, I'm getting there. I guess Chuck, I don't think I am, but someone, uh, I'm actually in a class in the army right now since I'm getting ready to get out. And it's to get you ready for civilian life again. And I brought up the fact that I do. Um, YouTube. And. There's a lot to do in Cali. But I don't live there. I just go visit there all the time. <laughs> um, but. Uh. Anyways, in the class, I brought up that I do YouTube, and I was like, oh, he's he's famous, he's a celebrity, and they were joking around, and uh, I was like, no, and then I started thinking about it, and I was like, well, I do reach 350, 360 people a week, if not more, I guess, on a small scale, it is kind of like being a celebrity, I don't really consider myself one, though. That's awesome. But there's lots to do in Cali. Like you can you can go herping, you can go to prehistoric, you can go to Disney. Uh, there's all kinds of tourist destination stops there. Um, but that was that was a little stressful, guys. Like I started this out in a good light, and that was just stressful. Um, little man's getting ready to go to bed. My phone's getting ready to die. So I think our questions are done. Uh, all the trolls are timed out. I want to appreciate or let you guys know how much I appreciate you for sticking through all of that crap. That was insane. Um, oh, it's all good. It happens. I'm like, like I said, I, I went quiet for a little while just because I was booting them out one by one. But uh, that was a that was a little insane. I hope it didn't ruin your guys' time. Uh, I hope that you're having a good week. Continue to have a good week. Keep supporting the positivity that we always talk about. Check out the Chubby Bunny Challenge. Check out the uh, makeup challenge that got put up, you guys. I will be coming out on Josh's channel tomorrow, so it won't be here. It'll be on Leatherneck Reptiles tomorrow. 
and I'm not sure what time it is, but just keep posted for Josh. If you're not already subscribed to him, go over to his channel, subscribe to him, get ready for tomorrow. You guys have a great night. You stay blessed and we're going to talk to you soon.